Akhlaq is a whole branch of knowledge that deals with the diseases of the soul. It's Akhlaq, ethics. What does that mean? Sometimes we think Akhlaq is just to smile and be kind to people. Now, that is what we colloquially use. He has a good akhlaq. That's a khuluq. Akhlaq is a whole branch of knowledge that deals with the diseases of the soul. Arrogance, backbiting, jealousy, showing off, not having sincere intentions, and all that, that is why I said that is the most important branch. The most important. Why it is most important? Why? Because the actions, the acts of worship, and all the knowledge, that is of no use if one does not have sincerity. If one does not do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If one does, does show arrogance, it is of no use. Is someone going to get reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he or she does an act of worship just to show off to people? Will, will, will he or she get any reward? If she says salat, just to show off to people. If you come to Majlis and shed tears, just to show off to people. No. No, absolutely zero sabab. All that pain, all that effort for nothing, all in vain. So we have to be aware of our akhlaq. Without akhlaq, nothing. Knowledge becomes a source of darkness if one does not have akhlaq. Shaitan had a lot of knowledge and a lot of acts of worship. He knows much more than you and me and anyone else or out of the ordinary fallible people when it comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his universe. Can I claim that I'm, I have more knowledge than shaitan when it comes to information, as knowledge in terms of information? Have I done more worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than shaitan? But he had no akhlaq. He became arrogant. Arrogant. So sometimes this knowledge becomes a source of darkness. Knowledge is light. It should show the way. It should guide you. But sometimes it becomes a source of darkness. It is not the most learned who is walking towards the path of light. It can be a simple farmer who is in light. And it can be a person who is immersed in books and still be in darknesses.